Bob McCraney with This Month in Realty. And today I'm super happy to have on our show today, John Byrne. Now, John is with Verani Realty. I'm sorry, Berkshire Hathaway, Verani Realty in New, in snowy Manchester, New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Um, John, tell us about the market up there. You're the um, one snowed in and my mouth won't work. <laughs> well, it's very snowy, like I said. Um, or you said, I should say. Wow, we're both screwing up today. <laughs> it's a snow um, day for both of us. Yes. Um, no, very snowy. It's it's pretty to look at. Um, but markets actually with the new year, markets heating back up. We saw like a two week dip, um, but things are starting to get crazy again. I just saw a bunch of houses come on the last few days, and I have a bunch of showings this weekend. So yay! No complaints up here. <laughs> okay, so things are starting to heat back up for the for the new year, and that's mm -hmm. traditional. But tell me, I mean, snow events, let's let's stick to that for a second. No pun intended. The snow is sticking here. What does that do to homesteads up there? So typically, like when I got into the business, everyone always said, oh, it slows down in the winter and it doesn't heat back up until spring, obviously. Um, but I, I've never seen it. This market in the last four years has just gotten crazier and crazier and crazier, which everyone's seeing. But literally the second the ball drops on new year's eve new year's day new year comes houses just start flooding the market people want to get ahead of the curve because they think the spring's going to be even worse so it actually spring starts january 1st or 2nd in new hampshire um it's always nutty i've never seen a quiet january and i like it it makes my life interesting <laughs> We have very similar things here. The, the phone will start ringing in January. It starts really ringing at spring break and then you just hold on for the ride. Yep. So, okay, so what's it, what does the snow up there do to the community? For those of us who've never been in a New England winter, uh, I, I grew up in the, the mid-Atlantic states and had snow, but you know, and I'm in Texas, so I probably forgot. What's it like driving? What does it do to the community there? Yeah, so, I mean, I took it slow into the office today. I put my Jeep in four wheel drive. Um, and I drove maybe 30, 40 miles an hour down the highway. But honestly, like, I actually think it has a cool, like, charming thing about it. Because when everyone comes out in their neighborhoods to shovel or snowblow or whatever their driveway, neighbors start coming out too, and they're doing their own thing. Or if they're done, sometimes they'll come over and help. And it's just very quintessential New England. It's neighbors helping neighbors. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very homey and happy. and especially if you like your neighbors, you're obviously going to go out and help. Yeah. So it definitely brings out some interesting things in people, good things mostly. Um, it also How much does is a snowblower? A couple hundred dollars, maybe four Oh, that's five. so worth it. I'm not shoveling yeah. snow ever again in my life. Nope, nope, yeah. nope. Okay, John, so how would somebody contact you? Uh, best way, probably call or text me. Uh, area code, area code 603-661-1276. Okay. And I'm going to put all your digits below. Hopefully next month you won't be snowed in. See you next yes. time. Yes, definitely. Okay. Tune in next month to hear more from John and other real estate experts around the United States and Canada. Take care. Thank you.